What's truly remarkable is that New Caledonian crows don't just use tools, they make them as well. It was really amazing to see that they'd go through this long, complex sequences of actions. It wasn't just like one step, like rip off a stick, and it wasn't even two steps. It was breaking off at a difficult place of the branch below a fork, trimming off the side branches, and then crafting away at, at, at the base of the fork to get a really functional uh, hook tool. Uh, and that was really amazing to see an animal uh, knowing there's some food there, putting all this effort into getting its tool just right for the job. There's really three species that make tools. Elephants, chimpanzees, and the Caledonian crows. So just three out of like, you know, six million or whatever that's on the planet. People went wild when Jane Goodall found that chimps could actually use tools at all. And the chimpanzees have never been found to use hooks in any kind of way. So to find um, a crow species that's doing, using tool use in a, and making tools in a much more sophisticated way than the chimps, really, I think, uh, it hit everyone's radars. Sometimes you see really complex things, but there's some simple trick to it, some lower level behavior that underlies it. Well, any behavior you see like that in the wild, you need to do an experiment. First we put the uh, meat into the hole, and put the long stick in the toolbox, right at the back, out of reach of the crow. And we put a short tool uh, in front of the box. It's one thing to use a tool to get food, but to use a tool to get another tool to get food requires much more complex cognitive powers. This meta-tool use, as it's called, is considered to be crucial in the evolution of humans. Well, the thing that sparked technical evolution in humans was when we started using uh, rocks not to crack nuts or bones or other bits of food, but um, use them to crack other rocks. So it's really interesting to find that a cross species can actually do this mental use, cool. because then we start having some kind of idea of the kind of cognitive abilities that um, you know, our early ancestors uh, might have had. Just how smart are these crows? In an experiment that has never been tried before, this crow will be challenged to push its abilities to the next level. And we're looking to see if the crow can act out a three-step plan, like think like three chess moves into the future, and pull up the string to get the short tool, take the short tool to get the long tool, and then take the long tool to get the food. Oh, this should be really, I'm really fascinated by this. Um, I, really, uh, um, I really want to see if they're able to do it because um, I hope they can, but um, they may just, it may just be, uh, too, be like too long a distance between their first action with the string and the time they're getting the food, so they're going to kind of forget what they're doing once they're up and uh, string cording. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. This is the first time this experiment has ever been attempted and our cameras are there to record what happens. Crows have done amazingly well and really surprisingly well. We didn't expect them 
to be this good at these kind of problems. They've performed at the highest levels with tasks requiring technical intelligence out of pretty much any animal on the planet.